Uh, here we are in game two of the finals, best of three finals. Currently the advantage is to Team Black, Oxide Iron and Zanka. Whereas Pag Klops and Pagnip Junio are on the back foot. Going into their choice map, Burnt Earth on Hades. Hades in Burnt Earth, rather. Yeah, Same I'm difference. Really, I'm really quite looking forward to seeing this match and seeing um all the like we'll be seeing four different stat uh, play styles being played out all at the same time and just the uh, way that this uh this uh, planet just plays out like I suppose yeah. But the players are spawning in now, so welcome, folks. I'm Marshall, and I'm joined by Annihilator. <laughs> and the players are spawned in, so we have Klops and Neptuno from Team Norg on the bottom. Spawn there with bots and vehicles to start with. Two air to follow. With third, fourth air. Whoa! Oh, that's, that's a lot of air. That's a lot of air. Meanwhile, that's Klops. Klops loves his air. Meanwhile, on the north spawn. In Team Black. That's a lot of vehicles. We have Oxide and Zankar with a lot of vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a shake-up from when we last saw Klops and Neptunio playing on this map. Well, no, it wasn't Klops and Neptunio we saw playing on this map. It was Oxide and Zankar, wasn't it? And they were playing quite aggressively. They wanted, um, wanted rather, to get... Uh, to get control of the chokes while pushing out on another side while diverting the attention. Meanwhile though, because of the heavy airplay of purple here, I don't think that strategy will work out. Have they changed their build cues? Kind of. No. Not really. But the pelicans are coming out. Two air factories Ooh. already completed. And the docks are already out for black. So looking at the map again, just to reiterate, you've got the two sides here with a few chokes and terrain features creating even more chokes to get the uh, the mechs in between the bases. And that is, of course, the uh, the crucial point on this map. <clears throat> um, well, uh, both players, both teams moving out and trying to take some metal. Um, more vehicle fab heavy uh, on the side of purple team and... They're dropping these fabs all across the place with the uh, with the air. I'm wondering if they're going to be using them for setting up stack defense first or quickly taking metal. Mm, well, um, we do have the Firefly Scouts from Black, though, popping into uh, to Purple's base saying, Oh, I see Super Duper Heavy Air. Do they see Super Duper Heavy Air? Yes, they do. They see three air factories. They're going to be worried by that because it is Klops and Neptunio, and they're going to want to answer that with their own air factories looking in their base there. We've got two air factories from them. Have they queued up an additional one? No, they're going straight into T2 vehicles. Ooh, ballsy play right there. I'm not sure how that's going to work out because the T2 is only going to be helping them on one front. Hmm... Get some fabricators out though, and that'll really be able to push the uh, push the offensives with some uh, aggressive turtling or whatever. Mm -hmm. Question is though, is this fabricator going to be able to entrench himself enough before this docks force reaches him there? The economies yeah. though, they're so bad right now. It's, oh, it's, oh. Oxide, Oxide and Zink are not doing a very good job scouting to the way it looks. So like, if that if that little drop there had been scouted, it would have been dealt with, but now that it's there, it's going to be a pretty big annoying thorn in their side for the rest of the match, but they they are um they Coming are expanding in with a, few a little bit though, more, to little raid some fabricators over here. <clears throat> the thing is they do just about get intercepted though before they manage to get that fabric kill nicely microed there by Team Purple. But I think any scouting is going to be circumstantial, and this expansion here does get locked down. There were enough docks there to deal with it, and the fabricator goes down as well. GG Galata, no re Galata. <clears throat> and I think the <laughs> air game is actually going in Black's favour here, and they've almost finished their T2 vehicles. It's up to 75% there, approximately. And they've got two air factories producing fine. They're back in the clear with their economy. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like a... Klops and Master just kind of <laughs> gave up a little bit of their air to a Galata turret. And so they are struggling to keep up because they're also building bombers. And Oxide just, he always, he guards the the air of superiority with a, with a huge amount of jealousy. He does not want to give it up. 
Yeah, he he holds on to that thing with a passion, doesn't he? Yes. But, uh, the the interesting thing is now is to see how Black play with this T2 vehicles. They have the fabricators out. They're bringing two of them out. I'm not surprised there. They'll get up the eco super duper fast and then probably split them off into their different directions and then really push the other sides, both sides rather, and get up their production. I don't think they're necessarily going to lock down on T2 production. I think they'll just go for heavy T1 production and a super expansion. Looking around, they've already got a lot of expansion and ground covered, so they'll just pop up a bunch of factories, I reckon. That's 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 my prediction, but you never know. Uh, I might just see an air engagement going on here. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, I think purple are purple trying to avoid away. it. Um, yeah. They're more just kind of dancing around each other, just kind of uh, trying to bother each other and yeah. buzz around their heads, so to speak. And the bomber survives and can now defend against the docks. And it comes. Oh, no. It misses. It flies back across. It comes back in. It misses again. It comes back in. Third time lucky bomber. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. There's the money shot. <laughs> Goodness me, that that bomber needs to, you know, teach teach that pilot not to drink and fly. But uh, looking on the other side, though, just just zooming out and just taking a second to look at everything here. Pings going off from black, but. Black just have the map control, and Purple even saying we didn't even know that docks could get over there. Well, they do now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's why you play the map before you pick it. <laughs> but there you yeah, have it. A, there is uh, that one odd little uh, pass that mm. doesn't like, quite look like you can, go and go th you can go through it, but you definitely can. Yeah. And here we do see T2 Eco expansion coming hard out. And lots mm. of T1 factories going on in the base. So yeah, I, I I sort of guessed that we'd see Super Heavy D1. Going back into the army tab though, purple in the lead with army figures. Only just, but I think that's probably due to air rather than uh, rather than land-based stuff. Going back into the economy though. Uh, purple are doing okay despite having no T2. The only thing is they're, they're falling a bit behind on metal by quite a long way. But... As long as they're not floating metal, that's the main thing. <clears throat> These docks are getting a couple metal extractors, and this being generally annoying, they're going to get intercepted eventually, but uh, Purple's actually away. doing quite a few advancements in three different fronts on this side. That but, group of dogs get four mechs, jeez. Yeah. Black is, uh, they're managing to reconsolidate, and... Possibly a fifth. Are you serious? Oh Sorry, my. I'm just looking at these docks and they're just going to run rings One around two. black on this side. What is this? Look that's, at that! That's crazy. Yeah, you got to kill every last one. Docks are just... And now they're just going right, to sit there. <laughs> just like any unit, if you use them right, they're going to pay for themselves quite easily. Yeah. On the opposite side, yeah... Purple is still, on both sides, being quite aggressive. Which is their opportunity to do that, because while the T2 goes up, this is where they're going to have to push push their opponents back and start taking the metal, because any any metal at T1 is going to be a lot cheaper to get up than Well, um, they haven't even T2. started their two yet, that's the thing. They haven't even queued... Oh, they have queued up their T2. <clears throat> but they're going to walk their commander out there first, I think. Oh, no, they just started it. There we go. Um, but I, th I feel as though Black have the upper hand here, and I think Purple should maybe be a bit more defensive and more raiding rather than being aggressive. I think they should consolidate what they have, and that way they'll conserve their unit numbers for, for when the T2 does strike. But right now they're so far behind in eco and production that they all they can really do viably is is raid and defend. I don't think I, pushing out is, is, is viable at this point. It's really commendable because Purple, <coughs> as you said, they need to be raiding. They've raided just about oh, yeah. everything that they possibly could have, which is uh, pretty scary to think about. But the big thing right now, thing though, are levelers that coming in. Yeah. Those levelers are beginning to encroach on the base boundaries, and there's not all that much to defend against it because you've got a few units here, a few units there. Nothing's really consolidated in a big old force. And in their air force, they have interceptors, 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 hummingbirds, interceptors, and not many bombers. So they can't really 
use their air game to their advantage, even though they effectively have a monopoly on the air game at this point, they can't <laughs> really use it. And that's the problem. I think they invested in the wrong build from from the get go. <clears throat> yeah, if you want to, <coughs> both of these players, like I, I believe, it kind of seems like they're nullifying each other's air forces because of yeah. just the amount of Galata turrets getting popped around. And um, I'm not, yeah, like I'm not sure if air was a good decision. Well, we'll have to see. Because the unit count is there for Black's favor. There's Commander on the front line here. He's trying to assist up this T2 while looking in the wrong direction. But still, ah, I don't think it's going to be enough at the right time. I think it's too little too late. Boombot's trying to wreck an Inferno, not quite yeah, managing it. Yeah, possible leveler to the face about to go down here. Yeah, taking some damage already. Focusing down at 75, 65, Air 64. Force comes in. Ooh, they're just about going to be able to save that com. Taking a lot of damage though. A few shots just getting off. Going to have to hide quite. behind ah! that factory. Thirteen percent, and he gets away for now. But the factory's taking damage. The I'm fabricator is still alive. Black saying, "Ping that commander. Finish him off. He's right there. Come on. He's on super low health." 13% is all that remains on that commander. Moving on to the other side though. Boombot snipe possibly on this commander over here. But they don't have the scout on that commander. So they're just going to wander around. Go for the vehicle factory. They're not quite going to manage to take it down. They could have sniped that commander there. If only they had the intelligence. That was a shame. Um, it's either way. The T2 has been, been scouted. And that's probably going to be a primary target coming as we move forward. Yeah. And I think it's going to get focused down very, very soon. But, Definitely, uh, indeedy, doobly. And the T2 factory is complete, but they're not using it, and they really need to be using it. Air Force, uh, uh, oh dear, purple, this, they're doing their best to try to this pick off what metal extractors they can. Oh, this commander is uh -huh. going to push out against this vehicle grouping, though. He's going to take Got some damage. Cannon. Yeah, he did. He's just going to be able to defend against it really nicely there. Ah, uh, but the T2 goes down. The T2 goes down, but they have the T2 on the other side, and that's the one that's actually completed, so that's what matters. They have the shellers being produced, they're not going to bother with the uh, with the fabricators at this point. Meanwhile, looking at the Air Force, what's the Air Force doing from purple? They're starting to mix in a few more bombers, so they could potentially do some stuff. Um, but the thing is, that's when you start to see storms mixed in, and we see storms mixed in. So this is the uh -oh. other thing with air, it's so easily negated by storms now, that purple really need to be able to mix up their builds so much faster than this. And it... Oh my goodness, the commander and super low health there already getting encroached upon. Air Force from Black beginning to conglomerate as well, looking at the army tab there. The factory count 39 to Black, playing against 17 from Purple. Unit count almost, well, one and a half times that. It's not looking good at all. There's the air getting the scout on that commander. In comes the interceptors, and look at that! Black actually have the air dominance now. And... I think at this point, as soon as Purple realize that their only sole build has has gone the way of the dodo, this, we'll see the GG's. And Zankar saying, yum yum indeed. There's the GG from Neptunio, just as predicted. The commanders have nothing left, and from Klops as well. Looks like Oxide Ion and Pag Zankar managed to take the win in this Klopsy 2v2. Hashtag Christmas Klopsy. <laughs> well played for those two. <laughs> Let us hear five of them pushing in. They don't want to push in against this wall necessarily because then they'll get uh, concaved against the boom bots. And then the boom bots, the come, boom bots in. come in. Oh, that is a spectacular, oh, that was... spectacular engagement for oh, Red. Snap. They're going to. This is the time to move out with those tanks. That was a battle of Hastings moment right there. Sucker them in and then p pow. Wow, goodness me. But the Boombots on this side, though, they will meet a minefield if they go for this commander. What are they going to do? The docks are going to take the mines. Are the docks going to take the mines? The docks take the mines. The Boombots decide to let the docks take the mines. The Boombots go through the mines as well, ah! but they all get taken down by mines! Oh! Oh, I don't know. Are we going to see a skitter come out? A skitter uh, or two come out I, after I think, that? Or are I they think going the biggest issue is.